Hi everybody, Peter here from Triple G Comics. Welcome back, and I'm joined as usual by my good friend Efren, my own Captain America. How are you doing, Efren? <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you doing, Peter? <laughs> very well, mate. Very well. Lovely to see you as ever, Efren. I really look forward to, to our catch-ups. And today yeah. we're doing a real interesting one. We're going to be looking at our our top five commissioned covers. Yes. Um, commissioned covers, something that you kind of got me into a little while ago. I didn't didn't have many, and then you showed me very kindly some of your collection. Yeah. And it just uh, it, it sparked something. <laughs> so you've been getting commissions for a while, haven't you? Um, yeah, I started about over five, six years ago. I had no idea anything about commissions. I seen some people carry around blank covers, you know, like white covers. Yeah. And yeah. I asked them, what's that for? You know, oh, they're for commissions. I went, oh. So that's, that's what started for me at WonderCon in uh, Los Angeles or Anaheim. I found my first artist, um, and I'm going to show that first one. Um, he did a commission for me, and that was got it started for me. Yeah. And actually, some of the artists, um, depending on the covers, they like the texture of the covers are different for yeah. each book. So they asked, and I started talking to one artist. Yeah, they try to look for specific books if you know we hand it to them, you know, because they're just easier to draw on. I didn't know that. It's funny you're saying that because obviously, like I say, you got me into this, and um, shortly after you showed us your first one, I went to a convention called Thought Bubble in the UK, and that's where I got my first kind of proper um, commissions. When I've recently been back there, just a few months back, and I took some um, Masters of the Universe blank covers, which were Dynamic Forces covers. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, you know the old Dynamic Forces kind of limited edition comics? Yes. And I knew as soon as I opened the comics and had a look at them, the cover was weird. It was kind of like almost a plasticky sheen kind okay, of thing. Yeah. Good. So I gave it, I had two of them. I gave two of them to two artists and they both came back to us and said, these were an absolute pig to draw on. They were horrible. The ink didn't stick to them. It just felt yeah. like weird. So yeah, it's it's strange. You've got to make sure you've got a decent product, I guess, for them. Yeah. Okay, mate. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll each show a cover. Um, I'm going to put some images up on screen. Uh, so people can have a good look at what we're talking about. And we'll just tell a little story about the cover and about why it's important to us. We've tried as ever to to limit it to five covers. I'm not sure we'll we'll manage that, but uh, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try our best. Yeah. So do you want to start what off, Efren? Show us your sure. first cover. Okay. So this first one, I'm a big fan of Savage Land Rogue ever since Jim yeah. Lee's. Comp. Every time I see that issue. I mean, I always try to get it because I was, it's like one of my favorite covers. I think him, uh, Rogue Magneto is on the cover, I yeah, believe, yeah. with her. And ever since then, I mean, any artist that draws it, I always try to get that. <laughs> you know, it's like a favorite of mine. So this one was, um, it was commissioned and uh, by, signed and sketched by Colette Turner, um, April of 2019. I sent her the blank covers and um, she sent them to CGC afterwards. Right. So they are yellow labels. There's a specific form you can send to an artist. And if they sign it and they do all the proper paperwork, they can submit it to um, CGC on your behalf and CGC oh, will right. consider it a yellow label. So this one, um, and she, this, like I said, is from 2019. And in 2019, she said this was one of her favorite commissions to do. She posted yeah. it on Facebook. So hopefully you can uh, see it right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Yeah. So I was like, wow, man. And I'm so, you know, obviously it came back at 9.8. So this is like my first one of her. She's she's one of my favorite artists now. You know, yeah. so. And did she color that as well for you, Efren? Yeah, I presume. I'm, when do, do they do commissions? I'm assuming they do everything. So, yes. Because I've had a few commissions. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll show mine in a bit. But very few of them come back colored. They're all black and white. I know you can pay for, for color. Oh, well, yes. You can pay for extra, yes. So she did. Yeah. She does everything, yeah. And she showed me, you know, she sends me updates. And, you know, very nice person. Um, yeah. But they are quite expensive, these commissions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> They're not just even normal joke. comic books for, you know, any yeah. stretch of the imagination. Yeah. That's, That's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. I love that. I love it. Okay, so a lot of mine aren't um, CGC'd uh, yet, but this is by uh, in the, an artist called Casey Parson, and he did this for us last year. I don't, have you heard of Casey? Mm -mm. He does some stunning painted covers. Um, I, I, I met him at Thought Bubble purely because I was going to get a book signed by him. He did, do you remember the, the short series, Ha Ha? Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he did a, a limited edition cover of Donald Trump dressed as a clown. 
Oh, yes, I have I that one. If you saw that, yeah. Yes. So I had that and I went to get it signed and then I noticed uh-huh. he was doing commissions at the table. So I asked him to do uh, do a Thor for us, Thor being my favourite character. Um, and he, he did that for us. Wow. And I absolutely love that. Um, he spent ages on it, absolutely ages. Um, and he said he hadn't been asked to draw Thor for a long time. So he, he thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Um, yeah, and I just love it. And this is what got me hooked, Efren. I thought, <laughs> wow. And this wasn't a bad price. This this um, this was, I think, around about two hundred pounds English pounds. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just loved it. And um, the detail on it is stunning. Um. Yeah. So that's my first one by Casey Parson, and that's four. There's so many artists out there who don't like draw like for Marvel or DC or indie books. They just it's their living. Yeah, you know, and I, I, trust me, I've kind of stopped doing commissions because I got one time at I'm not sure this next one. This was I got this one at Comic Con back in uh, 2016. I had like 18 or 19 commissions done at Comic Con one day. Oh, I was like, oh my god, I went overboard yeah. <laughs> with all these commissions, you know. But this one is is uh, X Men uh, Battle of the Atom uh, blank cover. It was uh, from S- July of 2016 by. Um, signed and sketched by Jose Varisi, if I'm pronouncing his name right. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's uh, Kitty Pride, uh, X-23, and Lockheed. Yeah. That Lockheed's amazing. I love that reference. Yeah. And again, a 9.8. Very, very nice. So, yeah, um, this is like what I guess is it's not... Um, I forgot how much he charged me. I did like about three or four from him that one time. I... I um. Got in touch with them through social media, I think Instagram or Facebook. And I said, hey, I want some commissions done by you. And he goes, yeah, sure. Let me know what you want. And I believe I sent it to him in advance, again, the books. So he says, they'll be ready at Comic-Con. And I just picked them up. Right, right. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. So my next one, again, was a was a, um, a, a, a one that um, thought bubble. Um, this isn't the book I'm showing, Efren. So this is just a, a sneaky way of getting another one in there. Okay. Um, but there's an artist called Charlie Adlard, don't know if oh, you yeah. him, who, who does all the Walking Dead books. Nice. Yeah, and he did this one for me last year. Um, it's not the one I'm showing you, so that's not included in my <laughs> five. But anyway, he did that for us last year, and he was there again this year. And I thought, oh, I'll get something done. But everybody gets Walking Dead yeah. done. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what he's famous for. Yeah. So instead, and he's marketed, sorry, to Peter, which I like. <laughs> um, so instead, I took this one um, and asked him to get as a daredevil done. Nice. Um, so he knocked that up in around about 15 minutes um, and we had a good chat and he agreed to come on my channel. So I'll be interviewing him. Um, and at the end of it, I asked him how much for it. And he said, oh, it's free. Don't worry about it. Wow. So he did that free for us. Um, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Cool. So that's Charlie Adler doing a, a good one of a good old hornhead there. And I know you're a big Daredevil fan. So um, yeah, one of my favorites. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so my next one, uh, this is like the very first artist that I had a, who, who did a commission for me. He did a uh, Spider-Gwen for me, but I'm not showing it. Um, he did another one afterwards. His name, the artist's name is Jason Metcalf. It's Star Wars number one. I told him to do a Boba Fett for me. Um, and it's when I, and I sent it in. This is to CPCS. When they took a look at it, they couldn't believe it was a commission. They thought it was like a real, you know, like a regular cover. The artwork really? was so good. Oh, wow. Efren. That's amazing. Yep. I was like, dang, man. He did a real, and he did it that same when I was at WonderCon. It wasn't like he did it like within a day. Yeah. Yeah. So this is I like, love the detail on that. I never had done. That's amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. The uh, detail on it's phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, I know, man. I was like, dang, man. When they looked at it at CBCS, they, go, they said, this is a commission? I go, yeah. yeah. It goes, wow. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And it's incredible when you actually get the opportunity to stand and, and watch them do it. Just just watching the, <clears throat> the, the, the image come together is quite, quite breathtaking, really, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, they get, they, I think they can do between five and ten commissions a day yeah. or two, you know, sometimes they um I have this other artist I'm gonna show. He 
you know, he puts it out. Hey, I'm going to be at this convention. Um, here's the link to my website. First come first serve. And he goes, I'll do as many as I can, you know? Yeah. 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 Um, my next one is by an artist called Alex Cormack, who's a, an artist on some brilliant books. Um, but he, he does a lot of artwork with a guy called John Lees, who's a, okay. a horror book writer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he writes a series called Link, uh, Sync. Sorry. Um, and some of my favorite characters in Sync are um, are these clowns that go around in the back of a van yeah. to basically kidnap people um, and, and kill them and turn them into clowns, basically. So I asked um, Alex to do me a, a, a sketch cover of me being turned into a clown by the clowns. <laughs> um, and this is what he, he sent me. Wow, that's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Dang. Alex is an absolutely amazing artist. Um, the detail of his work is just incredible. Um, he wrote, sorry, he, he did the art for a book called Sea of Sorrows mm -hmm. and Road of Bones. Um, it's two absolutely brilliant horror books. If you like your horror stuff, um, th he's the guy to go to. But yeah. Now, did that. you have to stay there um, for your, you know, when he did your face or just some? No, no, I sent him. So this one, he, he uh, I messaged him on Instagram and sent him a picture of us. Um, and he did that, but yeah, nice. love it. Yep. So yeah, one of my favorites, that one. So my last three are all the same artist. Um, his name is Todd Nock and every now and then, um, he's the one where I had to, uh, sign up in advance for one of these drawings. But a lot of times he's, he posts like on Twitter, Hey, here's one I just did. And yeah. then if you send him a quick message, hey, is this available? He'll let you know if it's available or not. Right. right. So uh, the, the the next two um, is an X-Men book, and he did one of the Beast, and um, I told him I wanted it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Both versions of, of Hank there, isn't it? Yeah. Really the original and the blue. Boy there. So like yeah. I said, I sent him a message. Hey, is this available? He goes, yeah. And he was almost done with it. And I go, can you send it to CGC? Um, and he did, and you know, it's a really yeah. nice looking cover. The colors on it just pop as well, don't they? Yeah, that's another stunner, Efren. Another <laughs> stunner. Okay, my um, my uh, CGC one that I'm going to show you is a, a Venom issue one. Um, this was a kind of an impulse buy, really. <laughs> I got this commissioned again at Thought Bubble by a guy, I'll, I'll not get his name right, um, Alvaro. Bruno, Bruno, it's the guy who does the art for last. Um, oh, not last house, what do you call it? The James Tinian, nice house by the lake. Okay, yeah. Um, and I asked him to do as a venom. Wow, um, yeah, dang, that came out really good. Yeah, did he think, do it that same day? Uh, I think he did, yeah. I think he did, but he sent it to the, the sent it to CJC for us to get nice. it. Nice, yeah. yeah. Um, I think on the black cover. It just stands out because he's literally just used whites to yeah. make it kind of jump out, you know. Um, absolutely love that one. Absolutely. Love it. One of my favorites, that. Yeah. Okay. So my next one, like I said, is also, it's a Todd Knock um, cover. It's um, Kitty Pride with Lockheed, you know, one of my favorite characters. And I think, again, he did, he posted this on Twitter and I said, hey, can I have this one? When I, and then he said, yeah, it's available. And uh, here it is right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. God dang, man. These commissions are just so awesome. Yeah. It's a slippery slope, but isn't it? Because you could just keep going and going and going, couldn't you? Because they're just so... It, I don't know, friend. There's something... We've both collected comics for a long, long time, haven't we? But there's something special about having something bespoke for you. Do you know what I mean? Something that, that yeah. only you have got. It's unique. It's one of one. Yeah. You yeah. know? I'm so glad I told you about commissions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, <clears throat> this one blew me away. And this is, again, by um, Alex Cormack, so the artist that I mentioned earlier. Um, he was coming to Thought Bubble, so I messaged him before he came um, and asked him if he would do as a Thor, because, you know, I love Thor. Yeah. But I said I wanted um, – I'm not going to use the language I used, um, but I wanted a messed up Thor. I wanted something gruesome. Mm -hmm. And he – Messaged us straight back and he said, "App, I'm into this." He said, "How <laughs> how messed up do you want it? I, said, I, want it? I want it messed up." So he sent us this. This is um, Thor. Wow. 
Oh my gosh. With his entrails hanging out, his face all kind of. Um, and this is on artist's paper, so I'm going to put this in a frame. I absolutely, as you can imagine, fell in love with this. So I've recently been back in touch with him, and he's mm -hmm. doing a similar one. Uh, well, sorry, three three more pieces. I'm getting um, messed up Captain America, Iron Man, and Hulk images to go alongside this, all kind of monsterfied or zombified, whatever you'd call them there. Yeah. Are they going to be all in the same type of paper? Like yeah. That? Yeah, and then I can put them all in one big frame. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So we were only supposed to do five, <laughs> but you knew I was going to put another I one. I knew. There. I knew. So this one is a little bit different. There's a backstory to this one, too. It's the same artist, Todd Nock, and he did a commission of Princess Leia on the front of the cover uh, back in 2015. And it took a while. And while and I got it from him and then I returned it to him. I said, hey, you think you can do the back cover also? Yeah. So he said, yeah, you know, I'll do the back cover. You want a Princess Leia too? And he goes, yeah. So it started in 2015 and I didn't get it until 2017. Wow. At Comic-Con. Yeah. So, you know, when, when you know, when you do Comic-Con, you know, they have to go with you you know, to authenticate it. So they went with me and they said, wait a minute, this is 2015 on the front cover. And this is, and we're in 2017. And I had to think quick. I go, oh, he held on to it all this time, which technically he did, but he had given it to me and I took it back to him. So I had it on my, you know, so, you know, I thought quick and they said, okay. Yeah. You know, so yeah. they, uh, they authenticated it. And um, here she is on the front cover. Wow. That, that has a look of a, um, J. Scott Campbell kind of image. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that a lot. So that's, like I said, he sent, he gave it to me, and I didn't get a CG seed, and I took it back to him, and then he did the back. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I why I had to show the sixth one. <laughs> well, I'll let you have it, Efren. It's a nice one, so we'll let Thank you have you, it. <laughs> if you're going to if you're going to show a sixth one, I'm going to show a sixth yeah. one as well. Um, my My last one, is a bit of a personal one. It's a, um, it's a, it's not a, well, it is a commission to cover, but it's not a, it's not something I asked for. It's a gift someone sent us. You know, you've known me for a while now, Efren. You know, I'm a, I'm a big softy. So this was a present from a, a very good friend of mine. Nice. Um, of, of Thor. Um, and the road on the back, um, thank you for being worthy, which oh. absolutely, you know, hum humbled me. So this is probably one of my favorite books in my collection. Um, and I absolutely love it. So this is one of my prized collections. So yes, yeah, so that's my last one. Yeah. So there are so I have so many commissions. Like I've stopped yeah. though in the last three years. I haven't done. I don't think I've done any commissions. You know, I just for some reason I just stopped doing them. But I have like a. I think I have like over twenty of them. You know, wow. I just have, you wow. Know, I just really got into it for about a four or five year period. I really got into commissions. Yeah. So it's but like you say they're not cheap that's the, that's the only danger yeah. they are a little bit pricey aren't they um, yeah. but like like what i was saying earlier they are one-off works of art so uh, um i am um well into them at the moment and i've seen <laughs> myself getting more and more in the future um i think we've both got quite a few more effort and so we can probably do another show like this in the future yeah we'll do another one in a couple of months time to show what yeah, we're for sure pick up so excellent right well we'll call it a, a night there thank you very much to everybody that's um that's watched it. Let me know in the comments if you've got any commissions and who your favorite artists are. And please do check out my channel, Triple J Comics, and check out Everyone's channel, Passpoint Comics, and um, for more geeky related content and comic book stuff. Okay. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, Everyone. Bye. Bye now.